Well, hello, hello, my fellow space cadets. It's me, Sahara, with FYI Sahara YouTube. I want to show you, um, Mitch the Ditch, <laughs> his chart. Um, I would like to call him Mr. I Will Not Be Intimidated, and there's a reason. You don't have to know a lot of astrology to understand this, but if you just know a little bit, it does a little, I don't know, maybe a little bit of what knowledge you have to take that as, as it is. I'm just going to show you a simple, um, I guess you'd call it um, combination in his chart. And it is about women. It is the moon. The moon is in Taurus. That's normally a nice place, a nice place for, for the sun. Next, Venus is in Aquarius. And that's a good place. Well, it's an okay place for Aquarius. It means you think of other people and higher ideals. Okay, that sounds really nice. Then we have Pluto, which was um, of his generation, generally had things Pluto in Leo. Now, what does that mean? You have, um, there, these are all the same degree. Five degree of Aquarius squared the moon at, I think it's five degrees. It's not a good picture. And if you want, draw it up for yourself. And um, Pluto at four degrees of Leo. They're all fixed signs. That's why I, I laugh when I, it's not funny, sadly, but Mr. I will not be intimidated with his last statement about uh, changing the gun laws, which is amazing. I want to show you this book by Reinhold Everting, who was a brilliant um, German astrologer during the middle of the last century. And he wrote a combination of stellar influences. If you want to study astrology a little further, I, when I first got that book, um, maybe 30 years ago, I wore it out. <laughs> the thing fell apart. It was that. It was that valuable. So, uh, look it up if you if you like looking at these. At, when you ever get four. Um, five, let's say three planets that are all um, interreacting. Let me get my pointer with each other. It's a little hard sometimes to um, marry the three elements, and in the combination of stellar influences, Venus is women, young women especially. Um, the Moon is. All kinds of things, everything from your mother to your country, uh, to your home, your emotions, your stomach. Um, it means it's it's a very it's as powerful as the sun, as far as explaining who you are, and it's in Taurus. Taurus says, "I will not move until I feel like it." That's Taurus, and um, these are fixed signs as well. You see, this is a Leo sign. Four degrees of Leo. He dug in. <laughs> These fixed signs don't move <laughs> until they feel like it. You're running up against a wall, especially if you have one in your life. Or if you are one, you find out as you go through the maze of life that uh, maybe you should have listened a little, paid a little, been a little more flexible is the way to put it. When you put these influences, young women, the moon, which is, well, women in general, Pluto is a great force. It's repressive. It, of course, rules a lot of things, but it, that's where the word Plutocrat came from. It, you have a firm hold on something and you hold it down. Uh, you hold it underground. You hold it under the surface. You have complete control and that's kind of been his life 
he has climbed towards this one pinnacle so he can have control and cruel. Pluto can be very cruel. And it's, it's good to look in your own chart as to where it is. Um, I could talk volumes about it, but I'm going to keep it, sometimes just keeping it simple. If you look at repressing women through, and Pluto rules sex and reproduction. So what do we have here? We have the abortion issue, which is amazingly cruel. He, he has orchestrated everything he could to work on the Roe Ro versus Wade. And of course, this has a fundamental Christian background. It is such cruelty towards children and women, really. You force women to have babies, but you won't feed them, you know. This is, this is an old matrix of fundamental basics. They've done everything they can to put judges in crucial places for one purpose, to uh, reverse Roe Ro versus Raid and suppress women. And it's, uh, you can look at this man's history and the damage he's done. Of course, the, the uh, issue of the children. Then we have death. Pluto, my husband used to call Pluto the death star and control of the people and plutocrats. What's happening with the gun control and um, money and power? It, it, people are dying over his issue. He has as much power as a cruel dictator, which he is, and it, it's going to come back to haunt him. Uh, I don't know if he gets haunted. I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to be him. However, this is interesting. A little insight. Um, because you, you probably have a clear view as to this man's personality and ability to harm people. Um, let me look at this one aspect. I'll look at it and come back. Um, his wife. He's married to the wealthy Chinese woman and for a normal person, we cannot even imagine this woman's wealth. It's beyond our grasp of understanding. And what do wealthy people like to do? Sometimes they like to do good things. Other times, they only care about power and suppression. The way you get more wealth is to suppress. And that's what Mitch McConnell has done. He's made sure that uh, education gets stymied. You know, I, I don't need to go through all the things he's done. Um, to keep, he wants to keep you poor and uneducated. You can control uneducated people easier. But his wife, um, I must say she is a tribute to plastic surgery if you look at how pretty she is. But don't be fooled by a pretty face. Um, she has a lot of control over him. You see... This is a controlling factor, and this is, I want to control young women and do bad things. And um, when you get pregnant, too bad, but I mean, you know the whole deal, so I don't want to get on a soapbox. But this woman has control over him. So, um, it's, it's turnabout, turnabout is fair play. It's your karma, Mitch. So... I don't know if she, I don't know why this would be, but she has terrible control and power over him, probably through money, and um, I've, you know, Chinese influence over the ele elections, Russians. The it gets dark and cruel, and meanwhile, maybe a poor pregnant girl in Mississippi or Alabama cannot get justice for crimes she can you know all the bad things that can happen to her then she's pregnant with a baby she didn't want besides she's 15 so and also black people it's just cruelty I I can't I don't <laughs> it's hard not to talk about him and have your stomach turn you know really um 
he should be having ulcers by now. <laughs> you know, Pluto is um, suppression. It, this is where you are so suppressed that um, you're, you suffer physically. So this is often the stomach area, the nurturing area. So we won't worry about Uncle Mitch's health. But um, he did say, and the last thing I heard from him, when people were saying, we've got to change the gun control, gun rules, as we've been saying for 20 years, maybe 50 years, there's been so many. He just says, I will not be intimidated. And that is true. It doesn't matter how many people die. It doesn't matter how many people cry out for justice uh, and children. It goes on and on. So we have an evil all guard in the Senate. I did, I did do the cards, and I did feel like he is going. He's not going to run for re-election, re and he's going to retire. Uh, so we won't be seeing. Moscow Mitch again in the center um, after the elections. Well, I don't know. He can retire any time, I think. Um, I don't know all the rules, but I think he's not going to run again, that's for sure. And the next election is November 3rd um, of 2020. It's too long still to be. Have, how many people will die? We're waiting for Mr. I will not be intimidated. No matter how many people die and get killed. I have a cute little um, meme if I can show it to you. Hold on one second. The caption says, can you guess which one of these is illegal to sell anywhere in the United States <laughs> because of risk to human lives, AK-47 or lawn darts? You guessed it. It was, I guess it was in the 80s, a young girl was killed by a lawn dart, one, one young child. So <laughs> that's that. <laughs> We're gonna we're gonna uh, outlaw long darts. So that's where we're at with our country. And this is what Moscow Mitch is all about. I hope you are going to vote this next election and don't stop and make sure your kids vote. I think the mass populace of this country we just got lazy, lazy, and this is the result. So. Our current administration and Ms. Mitch McDonald, McDonald is a symptom, a symptom of something deeper and darker in our own psyche, in the mass consciousness. Even on my Facebook page, I, um, I will tell people in advance and I will uh, unfriend them when they're using foul lang language and certainly violent suggestive language because where does this start it starts everywhere with what you allow into your home into your head into what you see and hear and speak so say say nice things think good thoughts and also don't let nastiness come into your life even on facebook even with your friends if you have a friend or an associate who uses foul language um does things that are a little shady, tell them so. And also, don't let them influence your life because it's like uh, something nasty gets into your life and stays, it's like a weed, weed in the garden. <laughs> so hold on one second. So if you don't understand much of astrology, sometimes if you just know this much, you have a chart drawn up, you look at the major things, especially the sun and the moon. You know, he has a couple good aspects which allows him to get away with this stuff. See, usually people that are um, privileged can get away with things and then they lose all sense of reality. He also has a Neptune aspecting the sun. 
That means he's lying to himself or he's lies lying to someone else. His life is a lie. And I've known a few Neptune Sun people. So you learn things. The individual has a choice as to what, how he, they're going to run their lives. He, he knows certainly there's other things this individual and other individuals can do to make their choices. So I'll let you go. I just wanted to show you Moscow Mitch. Moscow, Moscow Mitch. I will not be intimidated, Mitch. So I bid you do. I thank you for your subscription. With subscriptions, I can bring you more videos. And believe it or not, Elvis Presley is next on my list. A fascinating guy.